Go. So today we're doing cauliflower buffalo wings for, of course, Lakers playoffs um, this weekend. So excited. Um, it's going to pair, excuse me, pair very well with Aveline Rosé. Um, so here we go. We're going to do it like a light battered um, cauliflower. First off, make your ranch dressing. If you don't buy it in a bottle, my favorite is a sour cream with a packet. That's right, just old school. Get me some sour cream, or you could use um, a plain Greek yogurt, non-fat yogurt, or non-fat um, uh, sour cream. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. You wanna keep it in the fridge so that all the flavors come together, like a half an hour at least. So now we are going to do cauliflower, which is one of my favorite. I love cauliflower. Um, this is super easy. Cauliflower is, um, you know, if you, Overcook it, it just reduces down to zero. <laughs> it just loses all of its bulk. Um, and because we're trying to do a cauliflower wing, we want it to be able to like dip into the sauce and really hold its shape and so that it can um, have a nice little, you know, dipping effect. So with the cauliflower, I just kind of pop off that guy. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna break this guy off. And again, proportions are everything. This is science, folks. It's fire. It's heat. And it will cook. If you know whatever size your cauliflower is, is how fast it cooks. So larger um, or, or smaller, it's gonna cook the smaller pieces quicker and the bigger piece is slower, so uniformity in your cauliflower is kind of what you're looking for here. Um, I'm gonna just kind of break this apart, see what I'm working with here. We've got lots of little guys. And again, because we're doing the wings, I want them a little bit bigger with their shape so that they kind of cook al dente. They're still a little firm inside, crispy on the outside because we're gonna batter them. Um, but I'm gonna do kind of like, I feel like this is fun. This is like a good dipping. Look at cauliflower isn't like the easiest to be in a form because of the way that it grows, but in general. And there might be some fun ones having, you know, having little ones, you know, they're a little more crispy might be fun too. I like a roasted flavor or a little more cooked as well. It's called flavor. Layering, flavor layering. Right. You have to remember that. Food is going to be, the most delicious food is food that you make with little love in your heart. That is the most delicious food. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It just, is, it only tastes good if you do, you know, cook it with care and love. So as I cook this with care and love for you, I will and hope that everybody enjoys it just as much. For me, it's not about what things taste like and how it makes you feel when you eat it. And usually it makes you feel good, it tastes good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It usually tastes really good. So now what we're going to make is the batter. And you want to do a cup. Yep, that was a cup. What do you know? It was measured out already. Ah! A cup of, I'm doing um, quinoa um, flour, but you can do any flour. You can do um, almond. Uh, milk, almond uh, flour, which is a nice pairing. Um, I'm doing almond milk with this as well. Um, so it's basically like a vegan, but I am gonna add a little butter, but you don't have to add butter. You can use like a butter, a vegan butter substitute. Okay, so the amount of almond milk that I'm using is half a cup. There you go. And, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Quick, hurry, quick. I need to put my dang seasoning into it. See, this is what happens. 
I'm, and I'm not giving you guys measurements because I don't measure shit. It's a feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's like two pinches. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to get it all mixed in really quick. And I don't think this is enough almond milk to tell you the truth. It is not really battering up very nicely. It's more like a damn paste, which, by the way, you know what happens sometimes when you're cooking? You think you're gonna do one thing and then you decide to do something else. You know why? Because you don't like the way it looks or what's happening. So I'm gonna do another version of this, which I actually frankly like better myself because batter can be a little bit weird sometimes. So I'm gonna ditch this. Why? I'm not gonna like waste my time. And I'm going to just take the cauliflower and I have the most delicious sauce. Hold on a second. I'm gonna melt my butter in this pan. Nice little, you don't want it to get too hot. See that? I'm just gonna get it nice and melted, light melts. I know people love a recipe, they wanna follow it, but the best thing to do in the kitchen is to just be present in the moment and see what you're doing. You all know, you've eaten enough food. You know what things look like. You know what it feels like when it's right. You know? This is like, you can't really mess this up. It's butter and hot sauce and cauliflower and that is it. And you can add any other kind of thing. You can like, I don't know, maybe, Maybe we'll do like a tossing of the cauliflower in the seasoning alone and just like do it like that instead because the batter didn't work out. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, when hot sauce heats up and when I mean heats up, I mean like with fire. Oh, I'm like, get me a straw. I want some of that. Okay. So that's pretty simple. Now that is heated up, I can smell sensories in the kitchen. It's so important. Smell is such an important part of cooking. I can cook a whole meal without even looking at what, without even looking inside the oven to see if something's done because I can smell that it's done. And you can, that's just a sensory thing. You know that it smells right when you're like, what is that? Oh my God, it smells so good. You're like, oh, it's done. That's why. The minute it's overcooked, you're like, oh, something's burning. Always attend to something when you think, God, that smells really good. Then you know you're on the right track. So this smells really good. So I'm turning off the fire because it's perfect. Okay. Now, the fun part is we're making shit up. Well, let's just make shit up. Up oh, here. Okay. I'm going to use the rest of my onion powder and garlic powder. And paprika, why not? That was a lot of paprika, by the way. Um, but and I'm gonna add a little salt too, just for fun, because you all know how lacks and salt. This is kosher salt, a couple of inches. I'm gonna mix these guys around together. I'm gonna use my finger. You can use a fork, you can use a baby whisk, but fingers do the job too. Like I said, the best utensils or tools. Olive oil, drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Why not toss it together? You know, again, you don't want it to like crazy. You just kind of want to coat it. You'll know, you'll feel it. You'll feel like, oh, that's perfect because when you move it around, you can feel that all the cauliflower is kind of getting a little greasier. Not greasy, oily, but not greasy. Like, you can barely see it, but that's all you need to coat something with. You don't need to drench it or drown it in oil. Just enough to grab the seasoning. I don't know, I'm just gonna try it, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna do it like this, because this feels like the right thing to do, okay? And then I'm just gonna do it like this. Hmm, that's a lot of paprika. <laughs> that's okay, it's gonna be delicious. Who doesn't love paprika? Some people probably don't like paprika. So if you don't like paprika, don't put paprika in it. It is important how you put it on the pan because you don't want it too close together, okay? With roasting vegetables, it's kind of like a rule. Um, 
If you put them too close together, what they do is they steam each other and they get soggy. What we want here is we want them to have enough room for all the water to be released because that's what's happening when you roast. What heat does is it pulls water out of water content out and that water content has to go somewhere. But if it's overlapping one another, then you're gonna get soggy ass roasted vegetables. So you wanna kind of put them apart, let them get some air. Okay. So um, now it's really smelling really good. I'm gonna check it just because I want to see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's looking like it's getting nice and roasty. And, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll take that. I think I'm gonna check one and see where it's at. Pull it out. Oh my God, that! That one might, you know what? I think it might take a little bit more. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to say five more minutes. <sighs> the reason I'm showing you guys like this stuff is because unless you've made something a thousand times, it's never like, I did this and then I did this and I did this and this happened. It's always like, I don't know, maybe I have to check. Could it be? Maybe a little bit more, a little bit more. That's where we're at right now little bit more like five more minutes and I think it'll be great and remember how I made my sauce over here I could have waited I didn't I got excited I wanted to see what butter and hot sauce smelled like but no harm no foul feeling pretty good here there's our cauliflower bits now what I think is gonna happen like I said I don't know what I think is gonna happen is I'm gonna put these, let me see, back into a bowl. Here. And whoo, they're hot. Now, I'm gonna take the sauce and pour it in there. Reserve some, you know, just cause we might wanna go ahead and use some of that sauce for dipping later. It's always easy enough to make new ones if we decide we a little bit more. But just in case, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Woo, that heat and the spiciness of this sauce. <laughs> Whoa, I was like, okay. Now I'm gonna put it back in here for a few minutes, but I'm gonna put it all the way to broil. Why not? I'm crazy like that. Just need a little uh, heat fire on it. So now we got our ranch dressing. Damn. Damn. What? Ranch dressing. I love it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh parchment paper and broiling, maybe not a great idea. Again, winging it. Looks good to me. Oh, oozle. Oozle. Oh. Who's not going to eat that? Looks like I planned it. Um, here we go. Let's see what happened. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. It's so good. Guys, why is buffalo sauce so good? Why, why, you don't, you can put it on anything. Why are we messing around with chickens? That's like a game day. Okay. Of course I'm watching sports and eating this. Of course. Go Lakers. Mm. Abilene.